Hi, welcome back. Theory of Equations, Solving Polynomial Equations. Find the roots of the polynomial equation x plus 9 to the power 4 plus x plus 7 to the power 4 equal to 34. There's a hint given. To solve a polynomial equation of the form x plus a to the power 2n plus x plus b to the power 2n equal to p, we can use the substitution y equal to x plus a plus b over 2. a is x plus a, b is x plus b. So in this case, a is 9, b is 7, n is 2 because this is an even power here. So we have an even power 4 here. Let's see how we can go about it. So first we write what is given x plus 9 to the power 4 plus x plus 7 to the power 4 equal to 34 and the hint is this one. So we substitute for the values of x, the y is equal to x plus a plus b over 2, a is 9, b is 7 over 2 equal to x plus 9, 7, 9 plus 7, 16 over 2, 8, x plus 8. And now we have x equal to y minus 8. So let's take 8 to the other side and substitute for the value of x here y minus 8 plus 9 to the power 4 plus y minus 8 plus 7 to the power 4 equal to 34. Now we simplify inside the bracket y minus 8 plus 9 y plus 1 to the power 4 plus y minus 8 plus 1 y minus 1 to the power 4 equal to 34. Now our task is to expand this one using binomial expansion. So what's the binomial expansion? If you have a power of 2, 1, 2, 1. If you have a power of 3, 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 1, 3, 3, 3, 1. And if you have a power of 4, in this case, 1, 4, 1 plus 3, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, 3 plus 1, 4. is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 are the coefficients. So when you expand the first term, you get y to the power of 4 plus 4 times y to the power 3 times 1, 1 to the power 1, to the power 3, 1 here, plus coefficient 6 times y to the power 2 times 1 to the power 2 is 1 cell, plus 4 times y times 1 to the power 3 plus 1 to the power 4, plus y to the power 4 plus y to the power 3, 4 times y to the power 3 times minus 1 to the power 1. So minus 1 to the power 1 will become negative here, plus 6 times y squared times minus 1 to the power 2, positive 1, so we have a positive sign here, plus 4y times minus 1 to the power 3 will become negative 1 here, and then minus 1 to the power 4 will become positive 1. This is basically the binomial expansion, so right hand side is still 34. Now we can simplify this one further, basically, and take off 4y cube, 4y cube, and 4y, and 4y. So after simplification, we get y to the power 4 plus 6y squared plus 1 equal to 17. So we take 7 to the other side, so we get this one. Now we need to factorize this one. So when you factorize, we need to find out what will make the center one 6. We can take 1, 16, 4, 4, 8, 2. So we can take 8 and 2, and if I take 8 and 2, y squared times 8 is 8y squared minus 2y squared make the center 1 plus 6y squared. So this is after factorization, and now we can find out the roots of this one. Basically y squared minus 2 equal to 0 will make y squared equal to 2, and y squared plus 8 equal to 0 will make y squared equal to negative 8, and then take the square root both sides, then we have y is equal to plus or minus root 2 or and y squared take root, uh, square root then y is equal to plus or minus root of 8 times root of negative 1. Root of negative 1 is equal to i. It's a complex number. So it's a, a be careful here. This negative 1 make this i. When you take the root of negative 1 it will become i. And then we need to resubstitute the value of uh, x back because we our answer should be in terms of x. So y equal to x plus 8 and x equal to y minus 8. So basically, now we get the answer for x. x equal to y minus 8. y is equal to plus or minus root 2 minus 8. Or x equal to y is plus or minus root of 8i negative 8. So we have four answers. There are two here. x equal to 
plus root 2 minus 8 or x equal to minus root 2 minus 8 or x equal to plus root 8i minus 8 or x equal to minus root 8i minus 8. So these are the four roots of the given uh, polynomial equation. So you can verify this one by substituting these values of x back into the polynomial equation and see whether you still can get the right hand side equal to 34. So substitute it in the left hand side, see whether you can get this one back, uh, right hand side back equal to 34 because our right hand side equal to 34. So hopefully you understood the question and the answer and this is how we got it. So if you need some more help uh, you can of course get back to us we will try to help you thank you